Hi, I'm Dave Hebel, manager of technical services here at Arc Specialties. Uh, welcome, and today we're going to talk about wire packaging and uh, payoff devices and how we can save you money. When we look at a standard uh, ARC-5, typically the wire spool is way up high and uh, so you have to get a step ladder to change out the spool of wire. Fortunately, here in the lab we have the ARC-5 HVTE. Uh, HVTE means we can weld vertical, horizontal, or tilt. So to change the wire, all we have to do is tilt the machine over and we can change out the wire spool very easily. One of the disadvantages of using spooled wire is when you almost have a spool of wire uh, used up and you're starting a new project, you never want to start unless you know you have enough wire to finish the project. So what happens, many times we end up with a lot of short spools that have uh, two, three, four pounds of wire on them uh, that ends up going into the trash. One of the ways to overcome this loss is by going to a, a larger payoff package, like a 250 pound drum of wire. But as you can see, this machine tilts, rotates, moves in a lot of different axes. So how do we get wire out of a drum and up to our wire feeder? So that's what we wanna talk about today and we're gonna set this up uh, with a payoff device coming out of a drum. For this demonstration, we're using a 250 pound drum of special metals uh, Inconel 625 wire, 045 diameter. On top of the drum hood, we have a wire pilot pneumatic feed assist motor, has a set of feed rolls, and uh, this pulls the wire out of the drum and feeds it into the flex module. And in this case, we have 15 feet of flex module that goes up and through the power track uh, to the top of the ARC-5. At the top of the ARC-5, uh, the flex module uh, is anchored to a bracket and we attach a conduit uh, into the flex module and the conduit feeds directly into the wire feed motor. Okay, after we've set up our pneumatic wire drive assist, uh, we have our flex module and our conduit. We need to feed the wire through the system. So we pull the wire up through the conduit, through the feed roll, and we put a wire guide cap and we crimp it on the end of the wire so that it's nice and round on the end and we'll feed through the conduit without catching. Okay, we're gonna ease the air on so the motor starts turning as we feed the wire through the system. Okay, when the wire stops, it should be at the back of the wire feed motor. Now that we have the wire fed all the way through the conduit into the wire feeder, we need to cut the cap off of the end of the wire and, and then we feed it through the wire feeder and the torch just like a normal system. Thanks for joining us today, and a special thanks to Special Metals, uh, who supplied the drum of wire for us, and Wire Wizard, and uh, supplying all of their welding products uh, to hook up the system uh, so that we could feed from a drum all the way to the torch. We can tilt, rotate, everything else uh, from a drum of wire. Thank you for joining us.